My wife always wanted us to have a swimming pool. It seems that her dreams have finally come true. Pipes in the basement have cracked and we're in deep water right now. Shouldn't be a huge problem for you though. Simply get rid of the water in the basement and renovate it. I want it all neat and tidy. I'd love to help, but I must deal with a fly dumping in the forest. I take care of one here and a moment later, another pops out elsewhere. Little bit like at your job, isn't it? Hello and welcome back to House Flipper. How are you guys doing? Okay, we have a new job on us and apparently we have a new tool. Drone? Oh, where's my flashlight on? Oh, let's get that off. Use. We've unlocked a new tool. Now you can take photos, water plants and spray them using a drone. All you need to do is select from the tools menu and follow instructions in the bottom right hand corner screen. Okay. Oh, wow. How do we get it to ah, move up with your left mouse button? So that's the height. Oh, this will be really, really good for aerial shots. And right mouse button moves us back down and same get a picture. And I'm still using using the WASD keys as well to move about and you can obviously rev it up with the shift key as usual. But yeah, let's um hit enter to take a photo and then we'll escape from there. Okay. So let's have a look. Okay, so that's the exit. So you can't go out to the little cabin out there. Let's have a look around the outside of the house. Lots of logs. Obviously, he is a logger and lumberjack. So you can see that clearly in his building. He has a triple garage. Wow. This guy's got some proper garage space on the go. Look at this. Not making much use of it though. He's got all sorts of stuff in here. Let's have a look in the house. This is a, a pretty decent sized kitchen as well. I like it. Yeah, that was the door we should have come in through. Open. What's this? Hold to pick up. Tell me what it is. Ooh, there'll be a lot of water down here. I think it's water pump. Place the pump in the basement and pump out the water. Okay, the fact that I'm like breathing underwater right now. Okay, so let's put the hose pipe there. Fuse box. To get this repaired, E to assemble. Let's get this fuse out, pop the new one in and flick the switch. Is this... Oh yeah, E, pull the water out. Okay, so our pump's getting to work. Have a look. Oh yeah, we can see it going down nicely there. Get rid of all of this darn water. We don't need all of this water in the basement. Do we... Oh yeah, press to dispose so we get rid of that. Okay, let's clean up down here and make it a lot more usable. Oh, it's ruined all of the food. All the food jars are ruined. Um, luckily his tools are okay. Some extra tools there. Oh, the barbecues are gone up. Tires are still good. Some crates there. Okay, so we need to change the stairs. Let's see, and we've got so many different colours and everything now. Now, I am going to go for a bit of the rustic feel I think still it's a cool stock oh I like that oh 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 cool stock oh yeah let's go with that one 
Okay, so we've got to paint we paint the ceiling white. Still some more trash to remove. Let's get it um, cleaned up down there a little bit first. And I think we also need to repair that pipe that's um, caused the water issues. Otherwise, we're going to have more issues in here as we go along. Ah, uh, it's all at the top. It's a little bit jumpy then. There's some more trash up there as well. Let's get rid of this. Although that wasn't showing its trash, so maybe not. Need to reorganize these shelves too. Mm. A bit over here. Okay, let's see what we need to do here. So let's switch that water off. Ah, we need to replace the broken pipes. So get all of these unscrewed. That top and bottom of the section that's um, leaking. Let's get rid of that and put our new bit in. Oh, look at that. It looks so much better already. Get it all fastened up and watertight again. Ah, oh, see, we'll have this place fixed up in a jiffy. Switch the water back on. No leaks. We're good to go. Okay, so where's the rest of my trash? I think it might be those two boxes that were on the top. Apparently we're selling a lot of objects in here as well, so let's get to that. Oh, he wants rid of all of his tools, shelves, everything. It's all going. Get rid of it. Doesn't want it anymore. Probably doesn't want to chance it after that flood, you know. Fires, no, be gone with you. And the fire's going as well. Okay, let's get a nice new clean floor in here first. I always like to do the floors first. And that just makes a room look so much better from the get-go. Lovely. See, look, that is such an improvement. Paint the ceiling white. Let's get a nice... We'll get a medium tin. That should be enough for us. Mm -mm. Lovely. Start in this corner. Oh. oh. Wow. Could have got a small turn, I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm still... Because, obviously, this is the world that I'm also using for my Speed Flipper series. And that, that I'm starting up and that because I'm going to be away for work a lot and that it's going to be easier for me to, you know, do my renovations and that without the commentary. <laughs> Unfortunately, without me wittering on and that so I can do some renovations like, in my spare time just to relax side the side of work because I'm going to be away from home. I'm not going to have um, the place to myself as I do now. So... We're going to be um, working our way through them. But because we are in that world so that I can unlock, obviously, the rest of the houses on this DLC as well. So we'll be able to include them. Um, it means because I've been working my way through every single job in the game. And that my skills are... Um, I've been able to upgrade my skills pretty damn quick. And one thing that's nice about that is everything just so much quicker. These are new shelving. I want to um, match the wood we've already got going on, I think. Um, it's like we're replacing these tools down here. So it's still going to be a workshop and storage area of some sort, but it looks fixing. See, we've got a new fireplace going in here. Let's um, pop this on this wall over here. Switch on. Oh, that's lovely. I do love a log burner. Uh, golden metal, cream. Is it more of a cream than a golden metal? Look now and put the logs by the fire there so we can use that. Ooh. Cheeky little barrel. What is he making in this barrel is my question. Pop this over here. Now you want to buy the stairs, so you don't have to walk too far when you get down there to come and collect whatever you are placing in there. I love the fact that even the handles 
And these can be coloured as well to the colour scheme that you're picking. And I love the fact that you can put them on the walls if they're hung up. So you can put them down on the ground or you can pop them on the wall. And that, um, although that is spinning around on the floor, but usually they come with two the washer plumbing system, so that big crate. Well, so we've got, got a desk coming down here. Let's do the desk first. I'm going to put it over here so that it's near his stuff. What are we putting on this desk? Radio for sure. love it. Do we have cream in this? Light brown. Yeah, we'll go with the light brown. I like that. A nice little radio so you can listen to music while he's working down there. Do the crates afterwards. We will pop the desk lamp in here. Lovely. And his little chair. I think we're going to go with that one and we'll make the legs cream as well so it ties in with what we've already put for the log holder. Beautiful. Oh, got all the tool boards coming in. Now they have greatly expanded the number of tools that you can um, acquire. So you can build a full workshop in this now. Um, I think these tool boards are new as well. We did have um, some limited ones previously, but it looks like we have got a lot more now. I think you can actually... Yeah, you can kind of like link all these together and, you know, make whatever pattern it is that you want. With all the various different modules. I'm going to pop those like that. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Carry on with the oak there. It's four crates, so let's get him some of those in. No doubt to put all his bits and pieces in. We've got some more crates coming in as well. This is a bigger one. And you can change it. So you can have it as a fully closed crate. Or you can change it so you've got the various iterations of the crate. I kind of like the one that's open a little bit. Like he's he's been collecting goodies out of there. I'm going to put the washer over here, I think. Next to his rather large barrel of goodies. Let's grab our Emma washing machine. And do I not need to unscrew this one? I do. Nearly forgot for a moment. Let's get this washer in. Beautiful. And little screws first. I always forget. I always go for the big ones first. It's like, no, you've got to take the back plate off. So you can take the big screws out, the travel bolts out, so you can drop the drum. So you go. No, it didn't show us. And then you click around to try and find the back plate and bring it back down again. Because <laughs> I never get that bit right. And then connect everything up. There's our water pipe. Oh, let's pop that in the wall first. Touch this one. And then our waste pipe. Lovely. Everything's done in this job? Wow. That was a quick job. Just down in the basement. I'm going to have a little mooch around his house because, you know, I'm in here anyway, so I may as well. I can't open that door. Open that one. Yeah, that's the one into the garage. So he's got a nice big kitchen down here. It doesn't seem to be much else, but I think it's because the garage takes up, like, most of this floor. Go upstairs. A nice little living area. Living and dining room area. We're just doing the house tour of his house right now. Fairly decent sized bathroom. Bath and shower. Bath isn't all the way in the corner though. It's kind of... I'll lose things down there. We are a little bit jumpy today. I apologise for that. Not usual. You can see how it's jumping about a bit in this house. A little bit unusual. And that, and we've got an office here. And then what have we got in this one? 
Nice big bedroom and walk-in wardrobe section. Nice. There's quite a lot of space in this house. And obviously there's all the space outside too and with the new pack obviously you can also build those extensions so you could actually build you know a barn on here or a shed or you know increase the size of the house downstairs or use some of that garage space and incorporate it into the house itself but yeah that will be today's episode that was super fast super duper fast we got ourselves a new drone though we're going to our pie menu and hit the queue we can now pick up our drone and we can say goodbye to this by the way did i mention the weather it's currently raining <laughs> like being in the uk what can i say but yeah that's gonna be us for today i hope you've enjoyed this job i shall see you for the next one when it comes in okay then Bye-bye.